Yo guys, what's going on? Zace is here today with another video. In today's video, we are going to be talking about a setting for controller players you need to turn off immediately to improve your gameplay and improve your stats. If you use semi-automatic weapons, sniper rifles, anything like that, even pistols that are single shot, you need to know about this setting. Guys, do me a favor, man. Make sure you're dropping a like on this video and of course, make sure you subscribe to the channel. Let's hop in. So we're going to head to our settings and we're going to go to controller. Then we're going to go to advanced input dead zones which is right where it's highlighted and you're going to click show more here is the default trigger dead zones it is 0.13 now you might be thinking to yourself it's just 0.13 if i'm going to aim down my trigger it's probably going to be fine but there is a catch that i want to talk about but i do want to mention very quickly guys definitely check out your stick dead zone as well if you have really really solid sticks on your controller especially if you have a newer controller um you can definitely lower these and improve your performance a little bit there there's a website called gamepad tester it is a great website for testing your controllers and knowing where you're at when it comes to stick drag and input delay or responsiveness on all of your buttons so let's hop back into trigger dead zone this is the default setting because if i turn this the whole way up and if i click reset option to default it's going to go back down to 13. the reason this is a problem is because if you have any triggers on your controller that already have input delay and i say that in the wrong way it's more like input sensitivity or uh just responsiveness so for example i bought a brand new scuff for the beginning of modern warfare 2 it was perfect except for the right trigger. The right trigger was only registering at 0.50 on the trigger. So when I would aim, I would be fine. But when I would shoot, there was a massive delay. And the input dead zone made it even worse. So it was like I had to push the trigger in 65% of the way until I actually shot my weapon. And for semi-automatic weapons, it was basically unusable. Full auto was a little bit easier. But for example, you know, maybe I'm ready to shoot now and then I shoot. So it was terrible so the reason this is important for regular players who don't have controller issues is i want to show you even on a brand new controller i went ahead and bought another controller since then um i want to show you that i'm on the left trigger right now and that input dead zone even though i'm on the trigger also slightly very very light and you can see me i'm kind of going in and out on it now kind of playing with the uh, threshold there it is not letting me aim down sight when I have my finger on the trigger right now. The trigger is down currently, still down, still down, there it goes. So my controller that I'm using now is a little more sensitive on the right side. So if I just even barely tap it, actually we're down a little bit. Yeah, we got a little bit of leeway here. Wow, I actually got a lot more than I thought. Wow, I have a ton of leeway on this right trigger. I might have to put my hair triggers back on on this controller. So I'm probably pushing the controller in maybe 20%. It's a lot. It's a lot. And it's that trigger dead zone. That's really, really affecting me when it comes to right now, even on a brand new controller. So we're going to head back into our settings. We're going to turn that off. And I want to show you the difference. You know, I just kind of have to walk you through it. Um, you saw like I can have gamepad and the game up at the same time. I, I'm not that good with my editing and or recording. Um, you would think I would be, but I'm not. So input dead zones, we're going to go back to our triggers. We're going to turn those the whole way down. They're on zero now. So I'm going to very lightly press my left trigger. It's 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 instant. I mean, it just caught me off guard a little bit because I thought we might have just a little bit of leeway. No, it, as soon as I put any pressure on this trigger at all, anything, I mean the slightest touch. Yeah, it's going in. Uh, let me see on my right trigger. That one felt a little bit worse than the left. Oh, you know what? The Magnum has a delayed trigger, so that might might actually be why. Um, get I'm yeah, I'm getting a little bit of leeway on my right trigger. Still, I'm holding it down, pushing it down, pushing it down. Still pushing it down. All right, so definitely a little bit more leeway than normal, at least it feels like. But regardless, let me put the hair trigger on, see if it put it on setting two. It, it was instant. Might have just keep it on that, and then the lighter hair trigger. Yeah, it's as soon as you press it. So, um, I don't know, guys. When it comes to regular controllers, regular Xbox and PS controllers, just stock, um, definitely make sure the setting is on. If you have a little bit of a better controller, whether that's an Xbox Elite, Battle Beaver, Scuff Gaming controller, um, you know, if you have hair triggers, you have that option, definitely consider because it'll help you out massively. Guys, do me a favor. Make sure you're dropping a like. Make sure you're subscribing. Make sure you're turning the setting off for me. I want you to do better in your games. And of course, you know, 
if you're missing any of the content here, we have so much. We're uploading like five videos a day. Check out some of the other content here as well. Even if you are subscribed, you might have missed a video or two. Appreciate you guys sponsoring Equipment Speech below. It's going to be it. I'm out.